All right, today I am looking at Chromium OS Vanilla. Now, previously I've done an episode on Google Chrome, which was based on Fedora, and apparently to uh, what people are telling me that this is was not an official release, but what do I know? Uh, I'm still new at Linux myself. But at any rate, I was given a link to this. This is a browser-based distribution, and we're going to look at it right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. We are looking at Google Chrome Vanilla. Now, I've done a previous review on a Google Chrome operating system that is based on Fedora, and it was my belief that it was uh, official uh, Google material, and apparently it wasn't. But this, what we're looking at here, is. This um, is a browser-based distribution. It's fairly small to download. I actually downloaded the virtual appliance so that I could have a look at this. Weighing in at right around 300 megs. And when I expanded it, it uh, expanded out to uh, just under 800 megs in file size. Now, this doesn't have a whole lot, which is what surprised me. But maybe because it expanded so large is because it... Um, is because of the drive space that it may require in case you want to download and install applications and that sort of thing. All right, well, let me go ahead and log in. And you will see that this is based on Google Chrome web browser. Everything that you're going to be doing is within the browser itself. Try that again. Geez, I wonder if I can remember my password. Okay, here we go. All right, and you have two links that you can hit the most visited sites and your applications. Pretty much, that's it. If you go into your file manager, now this is just vanilla, just the way that it came. I haven't installed anything on it there really isn't much that we can look at here. But there are tons of applications that you can add to this through the Chrome Web Store. If we click on this, you will see that there are plenty of applications that you can load in. So pretty much you can make this operating system exactly what you want. You can uh, install any applications you know that you are going to use. Um, some people will like this because, you know, this is, this is this will have everything they need that they can put what they need on there. Nothing more, nothing less. Doesn't really have any fancy, catchy special effects or anything because this is a web browser. Uh, there's no way that you can close the uh, Chrome web browser and go to a desktop, uh, or at least uh, that I tried. I played with this quite a bit yesterday. And uh, there was no way that I could actually pull up a regular uh, desktop that I'm accustomed to with a Linux distribution. The nice thing about having this on a USB stick, though, is you can take it with you wherever you go. You can install all the applications that you want on it, and you can easily retrieve them and use them. All right, now, there are a number of settings here if we were to click on the wrench here, you have the same settings that you would come to expect with Chromium web browser. Also, you have the lock screen, sign out, and shutdown functions. 
it would be nice if we could customize the browser to make it look the way we want to. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Let's go into settings here and see what kind of things we can change. Maybe it'll allow us to theme this, possibly. I'm not sure. Okay, you can, on startup, you can open your home page, reopen pages that were opened last, specify which pages it needs to open. Okay. You can show the home button on the toolbar and always show the bookmarks bar. Pretty much these look the same as any other things that you would uh, come to uh, find in the uh, Chromium web browser. I don't use the Chromium web browser though, I like my Firefox. But still looking to see if there's any other kinds of things. That, okay, great, we can enable this for Wi-Fi and it would have the driver built in for that. Very nice. So we can browse the gallery for extensions and see what we can get. Maybe there are some different themes and that sort of thing for this. I happen to like my dark themes, what can I say? <laughs> but to each their own. All right, and here you go. It opened up the web store, and then from there, if you want to change your theme, you can do that here. All right, very nice. I can see that there are a ton of themes. Let's go ahead and uh, pick Superman, because I feel super today. And, uh, okay, now what? Ah, here we go. All right, we'll choose the theme. Checking. Yep, we'll add it. There you go. We've got the uh, Man of Steel theme here on our browser. Close this. But pretty much, this is what it is. It is a web browser that is um, that is an operating system too. Kind of neat. Not something that I would want to use. But the thing is, uh, this is something that would be all right, I like how they skinned that. Pretty nice. So you can easily add files with a single click. You can uh, go into the store, download games. Uh, I imagine most of these applications are free. I downloaded a few of them and played with them and then decided, nah, I don't think I really want to use these. But this is the official Google Chromium Vanilla. And uh, I'll have a link in the show notes below where you can download this if you thought this was useful. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Also, catch me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. I've got more stuff headed your way. I've been real busy lately, but uh, I'm getting back into the swing of things. We'll see you next time.